Hey everyone. So last video when I was showcasing those guys over there, I was talking about that I would be making a new lore video. And it's not exactly a lore video. Uh, I'm going to be going over some things I've, I'm changing about my lore. Nothing massive, but little things. And lore-wise, nothing massive. And some things I'm doing with the, with the models. So the camera's going to be a little more hectic this time. Also, this is what my paint station typically looks like. Right now, all, I got all my units on there because they're all getting a, uh, getting a little work done. And my palette, the paints I'm using, and probably the brush I use more than anything else. Uh, can I get it to focus? There we go. The Citadel Medium Layer Brush. I use this for just about fucking everything, because the brush itself, I don't know if I just got lucky with a good copy, but this one is amazing. This one works really well. Uh, so I use it for most of my smaller details. Like the two, well, honestly, I only really use three brushes. I use the large base brush from Citadel. I just bought a Citadel set. I don't have... Um, the really high-end shit. Although I do plan on upgrading brushes. Yeah, you can't see it that well, but yeah. So I got the uh, lar the the large base brush, medium layer, which I already showed you, and the medium shade brush. Those are pretty much the only three brushes I use anymore for these. I occasionally use the medium base. But I haven't used the glaze brush in a long time, nor have I used the small layer brush. Because the medium honestly just does both their jobs better. Yeah, I know, sorry, the camera's a bit hectic. But yeah. So, you get a little look at my paint station and how it's covered in paint. But anyway. So, things I'm going over today. Um... One, I'm changing up a bit on the guys, adding a bit more paint. So, as you can see, I added some color to the belt, making the belt gold. And I like it so far. I gotta sit with it a little bit. I also shaded it with Reichland Flesh Shade so it'll brass it up a bit. But so far, I'm liking it. It stands out a lot. Um, so I might end up changing it and making the belt buckles black. On these guys, I made the strap of the belt black. But I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. But the buckles may go black. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But for right now, the buckles are gold. I'm stopping on the 10 guys I've done with the buckles in case I don't want to stick with it. Also, um, I messed up something with the guns. Now, originally, uh, let me see, one that you can see it well, this one. In the gun, you see that little gold bit? I originally had that silver, because it was just a, I originally had that, uh, the gunmetal lead belcher, because I thought, eh, it's just a gunmetal bit. Those are the bullets. Those are the bolter shells. And bolter shells are gold. So I'm like, ah, I should go in and fix that. So on all the guys with the auto bolt rifles, I went in and I repainted the bullets to be gold. Fun fact. If you ever actually refer to these as assault rifles, I will hurt you. <laughs> um, they may be technically assault rifles, However, um, the size of the bullet that these rifles fire is, it's a 998, which is apparently the equivalent of a 75 caliber bullet. But on top of that, they also explode on impact. So these are basically rapid fire rocket launchers. Everything about Warhammer is over the top and I love it. So these guys are basically, they're assault, they're 
assault rifles are rocket launchers, basically. But, yeah, so I'm going to sit with these guys, see what I think about them with the gold buckles before I move on to those guys getting the gold buckles. Um, also, some things I'm changing is, I think it was the first lore video, I said that I was going over the chapter tactics for when they're on the tabletop. I originally had it so that they were going to be master artisans, which allows them to re-roll one wound roll per unit. And uh, rapid assault, which gets rid of the minus one penalty for firing assault weapons after ad moving and advancing. I'm getting rid of rapid assault and I'm replacing it with hungry for battle. Which hungry for battle adds one to all your advance and charge rolls. Because the way I see it is I wanted this army to be a uh, mid and clo mid to close range army. Rapid assault only aids the uh, mid range. Um, Master artisans helps everything. It's just a it's just a damage up, so it's always good. Um, so yeah, with so with master artisans. That I'm definitely keeping. Plus, um, it's equivalent to what the actual Salamanders, their parent chapter, has. So it's like a nice little... Yeah, these guys are from there. And Hungry for Battle, um, for the mid-range game, I'm going to be using a lot of auto bolt rifles. So that way they're advancing a lot. So they get more movement. And they can still fire their assault weapons. Just now it's at a minus one to hit. But I prioritized movement over the accuracy in this case, because I want to get them to their objectives. Um, but yeah, so other than that, no other real changes to lore. Like I said, it, it was going to be small things. Uh, the next project I'm going to be doing is uh, me and Isabella are doing stuff for our anniversary on Friday. And one of the things she wanted to do was just have like a little basically a craft time. She sits down, she does some stuff. Her desk is over there. That's my soda. And I would be over here working on my guys. So I'm going to be going out to the Warhammer store probably on Friday. And I'm going to be picking up some paints that I can use to highlight. Specifically, I'm going to be getting Eshin Gray because I can use it to highlight the black bits. This lighting is not very good for close-ups. Uh, on the black bits of the armor. Yeah. You know, you're just going to have to take my word for it today. The lighting is not very good right now. I also got to get a better light. But, um... Yeah, it's actually decent. On the black bits, I'm going to highlight it with Eshin Gray. Make those pop out more. And on the uh, steel parts, I'm going to be highlighting, highlighting it with Stormhost Silver. So the edges really shine on it. Um, I already have the highlight for green, which is called Warpstone Glow. But I'm not sure how much of that I actually want to do. Because... Eh, it's a bit too bright of a green, and I like how dark um, the green looks in the shoulder pads. So, I don't know. But, I'm definitely going to go out and get Eshin Gray, and I'm definitely going to go out and get Stormhost Silver. Um, I already have Liberator Gold as well, which I can use to highlight any gold bits, which will mostly be on this guy, because he has the gold bit on his shoulder right there. So I can use Liberator Gold to uh, highlight that. And also I can use to highlight the belts, should I so desire to keep the, them gold. And if not, then they go Eshin Gray with a highlight, because they will go black. But I definitely don't want to keep the belt buckles, uh, the steel color. Um, but yeah, I think I've rambled enough on this. Um, but yeah, so my next little project, changing the chapter tactics I'm going to use on these guys. I know most of you don't actually give a shit about that, but I want to talk about it. That's why I made this channel. But, you all know, have a good day, and I'll see you next time.